What's going on guys, my name is FIFA Raw and welcome to the Final Football League talk you'll probably see from me in the foreseeable future. For those who don't know what I'm doing here, I'm covering Felici while he's on holiday. He comes back next Wednesday, so this will be the final time you have to listen to me. Um, a lot of you cheering then, I can obviously tell. And um, kicking it off in the Championship, there are quite a few signings to rattle through today, especially from some club called Portsmouth who decided to sign 10 players, which is really nice of them. <laughs> Uh, start off with the championship. The biggest bit of news in football worldwide is, of course, that Fabrice Mwamba has retired from football. And um, uh, people are like shocked that he retired, but in my opinion, it's not hardly a shock at all. Would if if you were in that position, would you put yourself back in the position where it could happen again? It's the most sensible choice to retire. Of course, he can speak English as well as uh, he can speak French as well as English. Sorry. So uh, if he wants to go and do punditry, he can go to France as well as stay in England. He can go into coaching. There's still a lot of stuff for him to do. I imagine he'll get a large insurance payout as well, and um, he'll get loads of like books and stuff. But um, that's enough about him. Uh, we're all very thankful that he survived that uh, horrible incident. I still remember watching it and going, "Oh my God, what is going on?" And um, yeah. But uh, thankful he's alive. Um, Nottingham Forest have signed uh, defender Sam Hutchinson on a one-year loan deal from Chelsea. Uh, Hutchinson, of course, was forced to retire uh, early in his career after a knee injury, but uh, miraculously came back and is uh, now playing again and hopefully do well for Nottingham Forest. Uh, Bristol City have signed former Celtic right-back Mark Wilson. And uh, Barnsley have signed David Gonzalez, the Colombian keeper from Brighton, and uh, veteran striker Marlon Harewood. Uh, Blackpool have signed three players. Uh, the three are Ada Giseri, James Caton, and Alberto Noguera. Uh, West Ham are still trying to sign Wolves winger Matt Jarvis, but uh, they've failed a number of times now to sign the left winger. And uh, Southampton have a bid for Blackpool's winger Matty Phillips. Um, who had a really good season in the championship last year. And um would be nice to see him get an upgrade if he did move to Southampton. Moving swiftly on to League 2, and uh, this could be quite a long section considering uh, what Portsmouth have done. But uh, starting off with former Sheffield United goalkeeper Steve Simonson, and uh, he has signed for Preston. Uh, Akpo Sajé, who I mentioned in part 1 of these, or the first one I did of these, has in fact signed for Preston as well. And uh, Coventry have bought in... Jennings, the central midfielder from Motherwell, and uh, Portsmouth's 10 new signings that only on one month contracts, which is um, quite a wise thing to do considering the uh, financial predicament uh, Portsmouth are in, and the 10 are Kieran Jalili, who they bought in from AFC Wimbledon, Mustafa Dumbaya, the right back who left Doncaster in the summer, John Harley, a 32 year old, a former Chelsea left back who left Notts County in the summer. Brian Howard, a 29-year-old midfielder, most recently at Reading and will be the Portsmouth captain. Isaiah McLeod, 27-year-old striker who left Barnet in the summer uh, after being joint top scorer in League 2 of 18 goals. Lee Williamson uh, played for Sheffield United last year. James Compton, who is a 23-year-old midfielder who left Falkirk in the summer. Simon Eastwood, who I mentioned in the last Football League talk, the 23-year-old goalkeeper. Luke Rogers. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, most recently at Lillestrom and New York Red Bulls, 30 years old, and a Liam Walker, the 24-year-old midfielder who last played for Spanish side Saranoca. And uh, finally, some League Two news, but not a huge amount of it. The first bit of League Two news is that Patterson and O'Connor have signed for Burton Albion. I believe O'Connor is on loan there from Blackburn, and Patterson has signed a one-year deal. Uh, Chamberlain is set to move to Exeter and Dagenham and Redbridge have signed defender Andy Burns who was once on the books of both Bolton and Bradford and uh, yeah that's going to be it from me guys a fairly short episode considering I have stuff to do today before I go in the early hours of tomorrow morning hope you guys have been alright with me uh, doing these last three football league talks Leachy should return next Wednesday or Thursday and I'll see you around then thank you very much guys goodbye